Alrighty, welcome back to round two of Squad Ops. This is Operation Nightmare. Check us out, squadops.gg, for more information, how to join the ops, get some training, figure out where our Discord is, all that good stuff. We had a nice action-packed round one. Now we've flipped sides, and we're going to do it again. This is a one-life scenario, meaning you go down once, you have to give up, stop talking, can't give away any positions, anything like that. But you get to watch the action from above, which is a lot of fun. I'm um, joined here with Shadowed. Shattered Ritual, I am Tedish. We're your commentators for both rounds here. This is round two. Shattered, what do you think of round one? It was uh, definitely action-packed. Def great job on the uh, the U.S. Uh, the U.S. Command uh, Best Pony for keeping the aggression up. Just like you, you just heard him in, in uh, Command Com, just saying, keep moving, keep going. You know, he's got to clear these buildings. And uh, there's definitely a lot of times that they could have gotten hung up trying to clear these buildings, but they just they just kept it up and they just kept the yeah they just kept the aggression up. And it was very very fun to watch. Yeah, the only uh, the only criticism I could have given on that one, which of course you know, Monday morning quarterback hindsight twenty twenty all that good stuff, is that uh, armored column that they sent around to the northeast uh, was a good third of their team, and it wasn't utilized in any fighting until the very end, and it pretty much got decimated when it did run into contact. So definitely it's a good idea, but it's tough to use that well, especially against the crows on this map. Actually, I probably should have had the vehicle squad. Okay. Here we go. There's sightless saying right there in retrospect probably should have the vehicles push south and engage contact so. yeah, it's definitely hard to, to know when you want to to push out those uh push out the, that they those those assets like those are some pretty pretty heavy assets and uh you, you just yeah, trying to figure out when you want to make that call to to and uh but stuff, but so. and like i don't think the the call like if they should have if they were going to go for that kind of flank on the east because that that was the idea is they're going to flank the east they should have cut through through town, like going all the way from their main. Like that's that's it's a lot of time, a lot of time, and they had to like in command comms, they had to know that you know they're getting destroyed. Like they're not destroyed, but like they're they're losing men fast, and uh, yeah, they definitely needed to uh, needed to pick up that pace. Yeah, but, when they were uh, up against a force that's two thirds their size, you know, one hundred and sixty percent your size. Yeah, you need all the reinforcements you can get, even if you are on defense. So, maybe not even send like maybe not send the disco techies on like the techies on that on that long flank and maybe you just reinforce yourself with the BR dam. That that's a little sturdier than the disco techies. You're not gonna get decrewed by just rifles or, or anything like that. And then if you do lose some techies, you know, that's like four four people, six people instead of I believe they had like ten people in that vehicle actually, column. And that is a very good point because uh, as we'll go over the assets here in a second. Uh, the U.S. do not have any light anti-tank in their squads, just the GLs, which can damage the BRDM, but uh, I want to say it's probably like 10 grenades. Yeah, it's, it's some like obscene number of grenades, yeah. and light arms fire does absolutely nothing to them. So if that was uh, embedded in the defense, it would have been formidable in there. Because that's a that yeah. Like that zoom is, is key. It's not as good as the crow zoom or the crow system zoom like that. That's probably the best zoom in the game right now. But it is still yeah. some kind of it's zoom, and some kind of like optical everywhere. ability yeah. on the on the INS that's side. Only, just being able to see yeah, further and being be able, able to see more uh, so that's why the INS on these in these one life events is just it's, it's, it's really uh, important. You know, just being able to gather that information from a distance, especially in the dark. Yeah, especially in the dark on these these one life events, information is key. I don't want to do any flat flank. So now we've talked about the op a little bit. Let's go over exactly what we're doing here. So this is Operation Nightmare. Um, loadouts as follows. U.S. gets two AR, one GL, one medic per squad. And then uh, one transport and one striker. The U uh, Insurgents gets two AR, two lats, one scout, one medic per squad. They also get to build four, up to four Dishka emplacements for their uh, main reinforce point. And they can also scrounge any vehicles that they find on the map, which you see them, you see them all over the white vehicles, and that includes two SPGs. I want to say four Dishka techies, and then uh, that BRDM we were talking about. So the objectives and, here logies. is for the U.S. Yeah, and lodges, right? Uh, the U.S. are trying to find the insurgent hardpoint with their high-value target, take it out, and then get to the exfil point. That point is going to be at 
one of the insurgent spawn points that's randomly selected on the map to the west of the Charlie Delta line. So they get to pick uh, which one it is. And on this one, we got two choices, Bravo 3 or also Bravo 3. Well, Bravo 2. Anyways, those two points. Um, and they just reinforce it and wait for the U.S. to come. So a lot of different options. It's kind of a dynamic op because it's not set in stone. Um, no movement limitations. There's no water on this one. No bridges. Strikers can go wherever. Vehicles can go wherever. Um, yeah, but they do have to watch out for all the mines. We saw a lot of mines put down last game. None of them went into play because the U.S. kept their vehicles at a distance wisely, I believe. Because as soon as you get a vehicle down into the uh, fray of the city, it's pretty much useless. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how we're going. I think they're going to get live here fairly shortly. Maybe yeah, not quite. They're... We'll be getting the U.S. brief here shortly. Looks like they're gathering up now. Get down here. I got the audio of these guys. Maybe hear a couple oh, jokes. Three more. Three more. They're usually pretty bad. Two of them are AFK. Are they? Okay. Well, you'll have to brief them then. Yeah, I'll get it. Alright, guys. If you go ahead and open your maps, this will be the plan as followed. Squads 1, 3, and 4 are going to be pushing towards the INF resupply over at Bravo 446, marked with the BTR mark. That is very likely where they are. If they're not there, then they're going to be in the compound directly north of it. Best pony, expected to be super fogged, expected to be fucking painful and boring as hell to get there. Uh, two squads will be loading up into the transport. They'll be dumping themselves off over at Charlie 4, keypad 5, sub 3. We'll mark by the hat mark. From there, they will push immediately east or west towards the INS resupply. Another squad, squad 2, is going to be taking the other INS resupply. They'll be marching directly from here straight to it. If there's nothing there, they're going to push north towards the cash mark in the north. Uh, if either one of them encounters enemy contacts and has a positive mark on either the VIP or the cash, we will all just reorient towards that. Striker is going to be following what they did round one. It's going to be sitting back on a hill trying to provide overwatch. Uh, I will be in charge of that myself, so you guys don't have to worry about it. Any questions? So, um, should my squad walk to uh, C4 key 5? Yes. Can we get right. to my... No. Alright, no other quick. questions, you guys can go ahead. Squad leads, break them out. Get a pump up speech. No. I like that. All right, now we're going to catch the end of the INS hey. brief here real quick. Thank you, Evan. Yeah. Gotta be fucking brief. Like, oh shit. But yeah. Morning, um, um, who's covering the south, by the way? The south? Uh, that's going to be covered by, yeah. basically, since squad three is going to be up in the hill, they can have, they can more or less have eyes on the south, and they can also have, someone's running Lodgy, right? So if that guy gets popped, obviously we know what happened. <laughs> You know, like if, if suddenly the logi explodes, I think we can be pretty safely sure that uh, it wasn't um, you know the magical logi explosion fairy. It was probably the Americans. This is fairy, yes. Although it could be the fairy. It could be could the be. magical logi explosion fairy or the uh, the the scout fairy, who occasionally drops IEDs in the path of friendly logis uh, for fun. But okay, Muff, you're gonna put that mine on the mark. Yeah. Schneid Nader, you're gonna run south to the Lodgy. Basically, resupply to fob, resupply to fob until command tells you to stop, and I'll let you know. Al, we're not gonna be cresting this hill unless I say Alpha's gonna be over there, Bravo's gonna be there, I'll be right here. Bravo, you're, you're also in charge of washing south. Muff, once you get that mine down, I want you. I don't want you too aggressive, I want you pretty downhill. I'm gonna be in a building, Copy. so I, I don't think so. Who's our HP? I'll stay hidden so I can use the IED later. Yeah, um, if they end up coming from the south, I'm gonna have you put a, a IED in the resupply. You? It's Pickle, right? Yes, indeed. 10 4. <laughs> yeah, man, it's, it's totally, it's fucking Evan. I lied this whole time. It's actually Evan DHVT. He's the real commander. I'm just a, an imposter. No, I'm, I'm the HP. <laughs> no, that's, that's not, how this that can't be true. Works. No one. No one highly values Evan, Safety it wouldn't shovel, work out. Safety shovel. 
Alright, um... You're one to talk server. Oh, yeah, at least I don't crash logies. So it's a very distinctive sound. Charlie Dixie. Yeah, 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 yeah forgot. On me let's now. Build. Any questions? Uh, no. Line up on this wall. Guns out or no? No guns out. Do I have to wait? I know yes. That mine or can I go now? You have okay. to wait. All right. So there was a. Right. Guns away. Guns away. Quick looking at the insurgents. Care. Quick ins look into the insurgent uh, brief there. It is Pony. He is known for good defenses, good strong defense. They got a really Super good bottom. spot to defend. Yeah, he's about They're six in... feet away from the free supply. Yeah, the B3 keypad and like I I'm, I've been looking around like there's not a lot of good spots for this uh, striker to, to sit up on on the hill just like uh, they did last round where they set up on Crow's Hill, firing from. You know, hundreds of meters away. Here, this striker looks like it's gonna have to get like close and personal. Like they can maybe get up on the uh, the hill to the uh, northwest, but if Pony's smart, he's gonna have a squad up there defending that area. But yeah. the striker's gonna be hard pressed to find any kind of good vantage point without getting too close to these uh, the insurgents. Looks like we'll be live here in one minute. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Looks like they're uh, prepping, yeah, just as I thought. The, uh, the There's a squad prepping to go towards the uh, hill to the northwest. There's a squad prepping to go get vehicles, especially those two SPGs and that BRDM to the west. There's another squad. Looks like they're getting ready to move east. Yeah, looking ready to move east. And then there's just uh, a gaggle of people on the, on the, uh, the center of the compound. Looks like they're going to be defending the compound proper. We'll see how this uh, defense holds out for them because it's... It's a good spot to defend this building, yeah. but uh, it doesn't look like there's a lot of okay, position so for the insurgents to, to okay, move to and to, from yeah, just this this building. So just real quick. Like uh, they're 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 basically buildings you're gonna occupy uh, are the uh, the buildings uh, the that you're gonna be in go, most likely. Driving, yes, Everything else just running through the woods, uh, and especially have... if that striker gets anywhere near you, you're. Uh, I don't know, hiding in the woods on a night map like this, it's surprising how quickly people can just walk right past you. It's uh, very true. Play, playing dead, you know, <laughs> pulling out your bandages and laying face down on the dirt. Uh, it, it has worked several times on day maps, night maps. Like, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely a strategy. We'll see if, uh, see if they like it. Looks like Pony is sending guys out into the woods. Stay there. Big surprise. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna have them. He's gonna have them in the woods. Let's see how far Let's he wants that. to uh, play this. Uh, how Let's wide he wants nice. to play this defense. I, I really like but uh, right now, it just looks like they're they're not too okay, far so out. They got a nice three on top, push, three uh, squad me. line from north to south. East. Looks like they're moving east. Look at that. That's a uh, it's a pretty good looking squad yeah, line they've got going. It's things things you learn in SOTT. Must put that mine down does here. Get a head start? We'll Trying see, to be let's see if their oh, mine the placement hell? is uh, any better than it was uh, for the INS last time. Hold. I feel like the INS kind of didn't have any good options, but this I mean, spot, it didn't matter where they put them unless they snuck around behind that striker. There was no way they were going to get a hit on it. Yeah, that striker definitely didn't move off of Crow's Hill the entire, the entire game. Which it is, started uh, up north a little bit, but then yeah, moved straight back down there, safe path. But yeah, they really had no chance. Muff, come back. Stay behind and the. It looks squad. like they they yeah, thought out their mine placements. Rocks. Like they they they've recognized like, they're not going to be able to get uh, the striker anywhere close, and so and they're putting it on like right shows, like not on the dirt road, but right at a curve where the striker Wait. may pull up. Yeah, where, like, where Muff is right. so, like, where the striker would south. maybe pull up Jenkins and try and get up the south. mountain a little bit uh, and uh, get some advantage. Get some advantage on oh, yeah, these. Uh, the Ranger, get that. I don't want you skyline. These these compounds. Which is a great, great placement by uh, Mafia. So he actually dug it down. He dug it down as far as he could, but it's, uh, I mean, it's a night map. It's, it's hard to see them, yeah. even if they're, is, like, completely obvious. Yeah, he, he put a rock there for, uh, Putting those rocks around. Just actually, in case. I feel like, well, I'm sure it'll do fine. That's good. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I, I don't ever... Uh, the rocks are usually hit or miss. A lot of times I like to put them off to the side, yeah. and they see the rocks, I'm like, hey, no, those are right those now, fake rocks, let's go this way. 
and then sort of guide them into the into the uh, uh, the I mine that, that way. Bad. And then others like to put them like so, around the mine and try and cover it up that way uh, in a uh, white instead of uh, trying right to guide them. Or on the north, you know, at the other it looks like the uh, INS north. have re recovered the uh, the two SPGs and the, the BR dam. It looks like they're going to put them exactly right over here, exactly where they uh, where huh. put them last time. That same, same northwest wolf pack. corner of the map. It's it's not a bad idea. There it looks like they're gonna try and prop them up on this hill, and uh, use oh. them as gun emplacements. That's actually a really sure. smart idea. Because I mean, they know like that the U.S. know that. The oh, oh striker already sees the BRDM. <laughs> as soon as they peeked, they saw it. As soon as that strike that BRDM peaked, they, he started taking don't shots. Don't go. Don't go up. Yeah, there you go. Get yeah. the hell out of there, buddy. Yeah, yeah go. Find another way. This the hill is not safe. The only way you can win that fight is if you catch them on su by surprise. And even then, I believe the BRDM and the BTR, because it's the same, same cannon, they, they actually have to, to reload in the middle of that. Ooh. So, when I said that striker was going to be hard pressed to uh, find a good vantage point, I was 100% wrong. That striker has found a vantage point. He's able to unload onto these, uh, these onto the out on the northwest. Yeah, the extensions of the insurgent defense, but on the main yeah. defense, it's not going to have any shots. Oh, yeah. Nope. That's, yeah, that striker. It's forced the, forced the vehicles off. I don't think they suffered any damage. The BRDM suffered a little bit, maybe a handful of, of shots. But uh, I still think it's going to take the two the two latch shots to take it out. Don't think they lost anybody. Yeah, nobody was lost in that engagement. But uh, we'll see. I'm coming back. I just dug it down. Looks like the uh, platoon, the uh, the U.S. has is decided to come from a northern push. They've got squads one, one and four on the uh, southwest, three and two pushing through the town now. They've got the striker on that no, east east fire. valley, no sort of in a uh, or the eastern hills, in sort of like a little valley, facing yeah, west, trying to get eyes on. The the main difference and oh, and how sightless yeah, is using uh, his uh. Like Striker and uh, Pony used it. Is Pony left a full squad on defense? Uh, he had a full squad road. plus himself on defense and, uh, uh, around that striker. Yeah, so basically we're operating. While uh, Sightless here has left so the striker, the driver, and then yeah. basically a fire team. No, we are. He has a single fire team on this uh, oh, so on, on uh, defending this. And, and to, to be yeah, fair, it's going to be a lot harder for the insert to sneak up on him. But uh, it's definitely two, it's two ways to play it. Yeah. It looks like, uh, yep, wow, Jenkins just ran into an entire squad here. Is that Striker? Down in the South Hills. Still unloading on people to the Northwest. Is that Angel? I believe the Striker sees these guys here at uh, the Hills and the, uh, the A3 compounds. I believe they see it. These insurgents are rightfully just laying low, just waiting for the uh, INS to, to get close to them. They just lost one in the south. Jenkins was their kind of forward scout, and they got, what, five people in this uh, southern resupply bear area here. We do have two, like, outlier scouts here down in the south. They could come in and hit a squad in the ass. And two people flanking heavily. Oh, it's Lodgy's uh, asking for it. Silas is calling for to make sure there's rear security. Where? Who is driving this thing? Schneidenator. Very, very, very bold. He's, uh... Yep, there goes a the GL. GL misses. Oh, he gets but shot they out of still, it. They still get it. Copy that. Oh, that was good shots from Ranger Arrow. Ranger Crow, or other. So, could I get out and just watch yeah, the... the... Scout team, you got reports of enemy entry direct north of you 150 meters. Not as big of a defense no. as uh as last time the insurgents. They've only got a... a uh, three three man in here was, was the fourth. Just... They had a, a scout oh, to fire. out onto yes. the southeast. How many did he get in? Okay. The insurgent defense at the their All right. placements you two get and in my get in my sandbag in my bunkers. They're doing a lot of those uh, uh, barrels of gravel, which are the equivalent of 
Lots of those going off. They got tons of points to put out. If they have enough time, this is going to be a fortress. We do have a couple like smaller rules that we employ to not make it too metagamey. You're not allowed to block off entrances completely. Anything that you can walk through, you should still be able to. Um, and no sandbags inside of buildings. It's just... Uh, no double high sandbags inside of buildings. No double high, man. Excuse me, yeah. Just keeps the game flowing a little bit better. Uh, the U.S. have started to make a push onto the insurgent resupply points. The uh, the building's just south of where the main insurgent uh, fob is. The U.S. have started to make a push onto it. We'll see if they can like, clear it. There's only three people in there, so it should be relatively simple it's for them to uh, get in and, and get a foothold for them to start pushing onto the south part of the uh, main compound. Looks like... The, the vehicle people forward. inside the main fob area, they're, they're just, there's not a lot of uh, guns out there. They're all shovels out, they're all just digging, digging away. They're just Get digging away. They're just going to make this a, uh, a main they've, point. They've got guns on all sides of them, where at least they'll know what's happening yeah, before it gets on top of them. Uh, definitely, negative. definitely. They don't have okay, a lot of guns to their direct east, which is where the center of the American line is, but... They do have three. Uh, south hey, do you want to block off? And and for these scouts, like, it, it's it's important that they, it's information first and then kills. That's the way. Whenever I put scouts out as a commander, like, I'll be like, the information you give me is gonna be ten times better than the possible kills you may get. Like, I'd rather know, you know, how many people are there. You know, do you think it's the full squad? Do you think it's the full platoon? You know, what what kind of like, are, they, are there okay, GLs over there? Is it the lats there. over there? You know, what's over there? Uh, yeah. That's going to be more man. useful as a commander than, hey, I went one for one with this person. It's you on know, that like, muff, right? It's just, information is key in these one, in these one life events. And Silent is calling for aggression. Like, yep. Trying to, Here trying we to go. Be just as aggressive as Pony was. They're trying to make this push. Three and four, moving in. We're out the north. Wrap around the enemy. That striker, move, that striker is moving off. It's trying to move off to the uh, the north part of uh, where the INS are, trying to get a better vantage point. They, they weren't squad able to up there. see much. Yeah, they weren't able to see much from that other hill. So they're uh, they're starting to move. While Pony's uh, vehicles, the two SVGs and the uh, BRDM, has moved to the south. They are basically going counterclockwise from each other, trying to uh, circle each other and try and get some kind of some kind of advantage. Command, which one, which uh, compound do you want us to assault first? INS resupply or the one north of it? What was that? Repeat, get it. Which compound do you want us to assault first? INS resupply or the compound north one of the One and four. Well, do you hear a radio? Do you see any defenses? <sighs> this terrain, I can't see shit with Bible. 2 5, Phoenix. Yeah. So I can try to run through it. All right, we got an intense firefight here between the main compound and the main, looks like the squad three. The U.S. Oh, well, yep, squad three is firing onto the main compound. The striker is firing down onto the hills northwest of the uh, main compound. Looks like they're he, pushing my compound. No, I don't think you took anybody out, but their their heads are down. They're not going to be able to provide any kind of information to what's going on. And hopefully, squad two, which is on the north, starts to push in soon. They're a little bit, a little bit out there. But that may be the key to this uh, success, you know, just because crossing this road is going to be a death sentence. Oh, Ooh. that was a great lat shot. Yeah, great lat shot. I don't think it took anybody out. Oh, it was just a little short of taking out, taking out whoever was, uh, taking out Rose Dragon. Rose Dragon is red. Oh, he, may, he may go down if he can't bandage fast enough. Copy that too. Right, uh, I think, send he, my think he managed, but there's like three or four go. people on this bandaging at this point. Copy, copy. And uh, oh, yeah, great lat go. shot by the whoever uh, fired that from the INS. Down in the south, we got a U.S. squad storming into that uh, resupply point. Three insurgents holding it. That'll be the southern flank. Right here. The INS squad 2 is right here next to the U.S. squad 3. 
and uh, they're they're firing their uh, they're, they're tossing their nades over. They're, they're just holding this tiny compound, just trying to delay the the US as long as possible. Give Tony as much time as possible to uh, to build up his his maze of a fob. Well, they haven't been getting any Logi runs, so I think they're yeah. done building for now. Are they done? Wow. We'll see if this fob can hold out then. It's it's looking pretty good. It's not a it's not a lot of lot of Hesco Hesco wall equivalents. These uh, oil barrels. A lot of lot of oil barrels and things. Some stuff not all the way built up, but these these will survive the uh, grenades. Like I think that's going to be important here. Just they're not like sandbags. They're gonna they're gonna survive these grenade shots and, and with the destructible with all these like destructible deployables now it's like nothing is permanent it used to be like you could just hide behind your, your sandbag walls your, your hesco walls and everything but now you you definitely have to worry about like making sure these things are built up all the way and they'll, they'll provide a uh, proper defense we got one little insurgent left here holding the staircase Good luck, boys. He's got one insurgent versus ten, ten, uh, ten US. We'll see if you can. Uh, Evan, I'll get in here. Evan, SMA. Uh, we'll see if you can. See, see if we can hold this. Do you want another? Through, I don't think the US realize how how good this is. They're, 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 they're doing well. They're doing good. You know, they're pushing through. They're communicating and making sure they're uh, they're clearing out this compound effectively. He can go to the northern. Throw a grenade up there. Both northeast and southeast of me right now. Uh, is there a striker up there? See, does he land oh, it was a great oh, yeah. grenade! Wow! Copy that Almost got it right in the door. That was. Gonna push through. Oh, he gets up under the cover of smoke. Oh, oh two wow! For one. They lined oh. up. Two for oh. There we go. Oh, so he takes out three. That, yeah, it was at the cost of three. Wait, great job on Evan's part. Yeah. Yeah. And he Almost got in, five there, yeah. yeah. Almost got five with that. Great job by Evan. You see, and that's the violence of action. They they should have pushed in way quicker. Like you, you toss the grenade and you push in as soon as that grenade blows. There was, if you if you watched, there was like three or yeah, four seconds. five seconds where, yep. where he had time to get back into position, and that's that's all it took. It was five five seconds. Like if they had pushed in just. A hair earlier, they would have got him getting back into position, and he wouldn't have lost. It wouldn't have went three for one. I got that thing, yeah. Phoenix and Freestalker here, lying on other opposite sides of a hill. Phoenix is in a very precarious spot. Oh, what an ID goes off. Sorry, but that was a uh, great ID. That took out the uh, BRDM is swinging around the south side of Insurgent Resupply. <laughs> well, they're 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 stuck. At this point, I don't think they realize that's a that's a uh, BRDM. No, they know it's a scout car. Oh, they're calling they out scout, scout car. car. They're calling out the scout car, but uh, they're stuck. If they try and get out of this, yep. no way. They have no. There's no lats. There's no lats. They've got to use the uh, the uh, either the, the striker or the uh, GLs. I don't think they have. It. They don't have enough GL shots to take this out. So now that BRDM does have to be very careful with the mine that is just down the road from it. Yep, definitely. And that, uh, it's, uh, it's really important to watch out for. Sometimes in the heat of battle, you start taking shots or something, you just want to get out of there. You uh, you definitely want to uh, just keep an eye on your map. Looks Where like I Squad 3 on the US team and Squad 2 on the, US, or the INS team yeah. are starting to Good have a little scuffle. They... Uh, INS are pretty oversaturated, in my opinion. On oh no! Oh no! One compound. Insurgents almost ran over their own mine. Oh, that would have been. That was very, close. It was a techie, very but. Oh, okay. I thought it was the BRDM. That would have been very unfortunate. The US look like they're gonna try and push in from the uh, north now, but Squad Two is delaying them. Uh, squad Two on the INS are delaying them, but uh, they're, it looks like they're surrounded. You've got two squads on the north. Look like they're going to try and push in. They dealt with the uh, contacts that were up on the hill to the uh, north, and now the uh, the main compound is almost completely open for the uh, the U.S. If they can, if, if they they communicated this and they, they decided to bring the uh, the striker in from this hill, it will just devastate the uh, INS defense. Where is the striker? Oh, the striker's out on crows. Looks like he's moving now. Just just trying to find a. It, it, they're trying to stay at range, 
but the, the great thing about this this, this, com this compound that Pony's chosen is it, oh. they can't. You cannot it found get range. Striker found the BRDM Ooh. and blew it up. Boom. Nice. Great job. Out car down. <clears throat> XF made it out alive, but uh, his asset's gone. That is a, that's an important asset, too. Are close XF uh, goes down. Uh, squad 3 is trying to push into this uh, compound. They, I think they're, they're, they're splitting up. They, they think that a majority of this squad is in, actually the bigger compound in this area um, to the, uh, the northwest. But... Uh, they're 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 assaulting both at the same time. I, I think that they'd want to maybe use all of their assets to clear out each together. Luckily, one grenade takes out two. Yep, that double time. kill was nice. Yeah, that was a very very nice double kill. Those sandbags just got demolished, and it look, they're just watching this corner. There's only two three people left in here. One watching this corner. Definitely gonna get. Uh, he's got a button hook left. Is this Rose Dragon has the button hook left to kill Wonder if he wants to uh, clear this out. If not, Wonder's gonna get this kill. They're peeking right. Ooh, he's got his gun sticking around. Insurgent knows. Yeah, he definitely knows. Yeah. Oh! Dang it. Rose is down. Yeah, yeah. They gotta know. Look. I don't know where he got shot from. I think Nacho sees him. This is Nacho. That is Nacho. Yep, Nacho is Got it. Nice shot. Alright, I think it's. There's right, two it's left. Nacho's yeah, calling clear, but he's saying he wants to uh, hear. Yep, yep. This guy's not watching the door at all. Oh! Gonzo goes down. Oh. Nacho gets pickle. Server gets Nacho. Yeah, don't fry again. Oh shit, he's Server's coming out. He's gonna hit him in the back! Oh, oh wow! Game master hit server. I I what a firefight there! That was an aggressive Fire push out. Both sides. Yeah, yeah, very aggressive push out. Um, in hind, like probably worth it. Honestly, yeah. I took out, I took out a squad lead. I took out. I think they, they, the US lost five, five assault units. Like it was probably worth it, and that's, that is the northern flank for the INS destroyed. It's, it's uh the INS northern compound. Yeah, and now the U.S. are raining hell down on the main compound here with grenades and AR fire. If they communicated this, that's exactly what Sightless is saying. Rain, rain grenades on them. <laughs> and uh, now it's the key is to get into this, break through Pony's super fobs, and if from experience his super fobs are going to be, they're usually on point. Like they're going to be really hard to get into. There's lots of funnels. Okay. And uh, lots of uh, just kill holes for the uh, INS to defend from. This hopefully squad two, who's up here on this hill to the northwest of the uh, INS objective, communicates that it is clear. Bring the striker up here. Like if you can bring the striker up here and start yep. raining, raining, that would be a great on, for it. Yeah, like that's that or on the uh, the, the east side. Like those, those are your two areas, I, in my opinion, that you're going to be able to use that striker effectively. But right now, I think I what Sightless is, is thinking is that uh, he doesn't realize how many people they have killed, and he's thinking yeah. that uh, Best Pony is 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 not doesn't have as many on the point as he does. He's thinking that uh, that that they're actually doing what he did and in, in, in trying to swing around. So he's keeping well, he's keeping that striker he's keeping that striker back near the uh, the the Xville location to sort of defend that. I'm looking at the kill count here. We got 23 KIA on the insurgents and only 13 on the U.S. So U.S. definitely have the numbers here. Oh, and that, here that assault. Squad two, just raining on to the, raining on from the north. I think that was the key right there. Maybe you should have had more people up on that northwest to hold that because you lost yeah, your northern the high ground. Now. Yeah, that, that, the high ground. That's exactly it. There's no way for them to. Uh, they, they can't go outside, basically. You go outside from the west, you're dead. You go outside on the east, you're dead. You, your only hope is from this, this south. This south. And looks like two is up on the compound. They're about to toss nades in. You've got GL rounds. You know, GL smokes landing in, trying to range lanes the rounds in. Grenade goes off on the roof. 
calling. Don't stack up on the walls. They don't want an INS to get an easy underhand. Or an IED. Uh, or an IED. Very, yeah. Very true. I'm hit. And, IED and blast. Do go through I walls. INS are, are holding off on their their assets again. Just like just like last time. They, yeah, they, well, they, those sneaking those SPGs around. Where'd the striker go? Where did the striker go? Where, where, where did the striker go? That is a great question. I don't see it on the map anymore. That uh, striker just disappeared. Looks like they it may be maneuvering. It's all through the may map. Have, may have gone uh, east, but uh, I couldn't tell you exactly where it went. That's a. Uh, Those uh, SPGs are going to be looking for it. That's for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. The U.S. on the. Uh, so are pushing in with their infantry. They've got a great overwatch on the uh, north. They've got a squad move trying to move from the from the, uh, the north side. Looks like they're just getting mowed down in the entrance. Yeah, I two went down back. almost immediately. And now they're just they just don't want to push in. Oh, that was a great grenade. grenade. Double. They got got two. Another grenade. grenade another pick up channel. another. They've got a, uh, they've actually got an MG that can fire sh into this, uh, into this, uh, this northern door. It can fire through the door, out. Oh, wow, that's an wow, angle that right a, there. Yeah, that is, a, that's an angle. That's a, that's a pixel peak if I've ever seen it. It fires through the door, through one of the pillbox sandbags, into the outside, uh, entrance. Like, that is, uh... Yeah, they got smoke right on top of it now, that but, was planned. uh... That was a... That's a planned angle, and that's a uh, that may just stall this full push. I don't think there's any way they're going to be able to get into this door. They're only well, I mean, they have smoke on in front of the muzzle of the gun now, so they could get that's in there true. if they're careful. That's true. But if I heard and, anything, even the, the the thought that I heard steps, I'd start shooting. If I was, like, yep, and that's what he's doing. He's just firing, just hoping he gets, hoping he hits something. No, I mean like, oh, yeah. Those SPGs are out there on Crow's Hill now. Maybe they killed the striker and we missed it. I maybe maybe. I want to take a quick maybe fly around and look for the uh, the husk. No. Never mind. Stay in here. The INS or the uh, INS are they're holding the buildings at this point. <laughs> You've got three holding the uh, FOB building, two on the uh, south building. I see, yeah, four, four and three, four. yep. A lot of I or a lot of uh, U.S. still alive. We got twenty minutes left on the map. And then the U.S. still have uh, two guys up on the high ground. It's all about just being aggressive at this point. Get in there. You're gonna take some losses. Like it's, it's inevitable. You just have to make those losses count. <laughs> like, they like, lost two people. They this guy is trying to get a bandage. He runs up to his dude and says, "Bandage me," and the dude runs away from him. <laughs> it's insubordination right there. Thank you very much. Yeah. And I'm not seeing the striker anywhere. I'm not even seeing a striker pull. Uh, well, it did its job. It took out the BRDM. Yeah, it definitely took out some, some major assets for the, for the uh, INS. So it's not like it was all for naught, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, the US are stalling on, on the walls here. Okay, we got a few guys inside. Who is that? Uh, Zan Krigor. Gonna come in behind. He's looking. The, the INS uh, commander is still up. Best Monkey is still up. That G3 is still up. So the US can't leave here anytime soon. Who's on this uh, MG? Uh, 
Bam Bam turned away for a second and uh, There's no radio this contest. they may, Novello oh. may have yeah, been able to peek. Oh. Executed from Bam -Bam. above. Bam Bam has to keep eyes on this door. They, can, they have to trust each other to be watching those doors. They can't be swiveling around look, trying, trying to get eyes all on the same door. Bam Bam has to keep eyes on this uh, northern door. That is a tight... Yeah, that's not fun to be in this room right now. It's very tense. I... I, I if the I, the US has any grenades at all, that, that, that's gonna be the... Oh, the smoke is lifted. He peeks and catches oh. a 50 cal. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, there's a dish inside. <laughs> yep, sure is. Oh, the US from the other end, get the dish guy. Somebody's gotta call it. Get on that dish because somebody's gotta get on that. That's gonna. That's their defense right there. They've got a dish inside. They've got a dish. They, they still think that dish is man. Get the fisheye lens in the corner here. Extreme it's... angle. <laughs> He's still there. He's still there. The U.S. is getting yeah, whittled yeah, yeah, down. I mean, tell me when he starts. There's to like. Six, six U.S. left, and then was up to like thirteen. Yeah. Okay. Well. It was like yeah. thirteen against defensive these five. Defensive position. Yeah. Just defense and just holding their corners. And I, I, I bet if we, we heard Tony's comms right now, it's just don't move. You know, watch your door. Don't let them come to you. On our side. I liked it better without the highlights. That is very, it's more cinematic. Very tense. Can you not get inside a window? <laughs> we, we they're they're they're, they're communicating. They're like, we need to uh, I'll check. we need to get these. We need to get a grenade in here. We there a grenade needs to go inside to uh, to clear this out. They're, they're the only three left here besides well, they the, do uh, the dish protector. Have the, the techies out there? The SBG techies who are just waiting. Hunting that that striker. Like Pony doesn't know what that striker is, is gone. Mia, like that. To, to Pony, I bet he's still calling that striker up. The striker's still around. Bags from the side of the wall, or is that illegal? No. Can you can you see him from the window? Do we know where the cash is at? From the little window. Do we know where the cash is at? No. They could be digging down the sandbags on the outside of the wall here, on these windows yeah. that I can see, and shooting through the windows. Oh, or they can get rid of the radio, and then the dishka techie's gonna disappear. Yeah, the dishka got it by is proximity. Gonna proximity elimination. Okay, well, we gotta so where's the commander? Where's the G3? Yeah. The G3 is the oh, pony is lying down right now. Is he the, the one lying down? He's the one lying down. He just pulled out his this, pistol. Uh, I have an, I have an Looks like they're about to push in. They have to know the dishka's gone. Using the oh using. One yeah, left, out uh, of the commander. <laughs> One's dead. I got two. They use the, the, the defenses the against them. The commander goes down. The there we go. Only people left are those uh, dishka techies. They don't know though. Don't, I'm in. Don't need it. Okay. In the I don't know what it looks like. Uh, so that's all the insurgents for this end. The only yeah, insurgents yeah. left are the that's people on this dishka techie. Or, or sorry, SPG techies. And uh, <laughs> they're. Oh, they're actually going to destroy the cache. <laughs> Do these have guys have command comms at all? Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker does have command comms. But they missed. They missed with the flare grenade. Incendiary grenade. But it doesn't matter. HPT is dead. Yeah. High value target is dead. The uh, US have to evacuate now. And, uh, yeah. You're left with the uh, four INS on two SPG trucks. We'll see if they can, uh... At least they're in the right spot. They are definitely in the right spot. And with no uh, striker to mess with them, like they can hold this hill. But they, I mean, they, SPGs they, yeah, come to them. are not super great against infantry. I mean, very true. I believe it's it's got to be almost a dead hit. Like I, I think the splash damage is neg negligible. Yeah, it's 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 pretty light. Definitely less than a grenade, way less than an RPG. So we got six US doing a good job. Everybody stay within local range. I just heard that go out. 
So these guys are just going to get back to, what is that, the Delta 4 keypad 2 location, where all those red dots are congregating a little east of them. The SPGs are making sort of like a wagon wheel, a makeshift two-truck two, two truck wagon wheel to sort of provide some kind of defense for them while they wait for the uh, U.S. To, to trek across the map. And uh, they've got 13 minutes to do so, 13 and a half minutes. Plenty of time. Plenty of time, definitely. Let's hope the, the INS don't get impatient. I, I think that's that's the, the key at this point. Don't get impatient. Don't try and go to them. You're you're closest to the their exfil location. Just uh, watch and uh, watch and wait. I don't think they have anybody with binoculars though. Um, so you've got no, Flash of Wars, don't zoom either. Guy with the goat, Volca, and Heartbreaker left the INS. So definitely, nope, nobody with uh, we've got two ARs, a rifleman. And, yeah, two riflemen. Two ARs and two riflemen left for the INS. Now it's just, it's just a waiting game. Nice line formation here. Definitely. And I, I think the, uh, I think the, uh, U.S. actually have still have a uh, squad lead up, so that's really good for them. Having somebody who's experienced and like the the fire team leads, yes, they're, they're a lot of times they're they're great guys, but like they it's it's uh people who aren't like they're they either want the uh, they either just want the AR kit or they're they're just trying to take a trying to figure out what this uh like kind of Pseudo quasi leadership, is, yeah. yeah. Quasi leadership role where it's like you're not like put in charge, but you're you're kind of kind of you know you're 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 able to manage like three or four people rather than the whole squad. But they've got a, a squad lead up who's who's experienced the Silent Death. It is a uh, yeah, Silent Death is their squad leader, and uh, he he definitely he he's he's pretty good. He knows what he's doing, and he's able to keep these guys uh, keep these guys moving and keep these guys still. And uh, some semblance of a uh, formation as they are moving through the town at this point. Feel like the insurgents might be able to see the uh, U.S. going through the poppy fields at this point. Uh, I if they knew where to look, it'd yeah, be tough, if they but it's possible. To look, there's nobody with binoculars on there. They're they're looking in sort of the general direction. They're looking more north than anything. That's where they they think they're going to be uh, coming from. And, this uh, is one of those situations where it really helps to uh, to not move. If you're on defense, you're looking for people, you don't move your camera because your eyes are really good at noticing differences. Differences equate to movement. So if you're not moving, anything that's moving is going to be enemy. And there's a slight zoom on the SPG truck. Not enough to, uh, to help them at this distance. I don't think... But uh, we'll see. We'll see if they can get a lucky latch out. I'm just waiting for this SVG to see it and just and just take take the shot. <laughs> just see if he can do do any kind of damage with it. I mean, he's got six rounds. He's got to know at this point that that striker's not around. They they don't have any kind of vehicles they need to worry about. Oh, when he hops off the Dishka. looks like they're uh they're getting impatient. That 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 may be their downfall. Is they're, yep. they're losing focus. You can't like. They're the only ones left for the uh, the US, or for the uh, INS. They can't. Well, they've got to know. Follow through. They've got to know that the US are coming to them, so they just got to chill. Zoom around. All right, we're so we're gonna, gonna yeah, yeah bring up the INS audio there, hey, hey, hey. so you can hear their squad chat, local chat. Foot mobiles. There's a couple of them in the middle of them. Listening in on the INS. Yeah, yeah. They have eyes on the, uh, that direction. Oh. Direction. the U.S. moving and that through. The U.S. just saw the techies up there, too. So they see each other. 320. They're in that little alleyway. Who takes the first shot? Oh. Oh. oh! oh! Triple kill! <laughs> Three with one. That was great. Brutal. They were up. Oh. Yeah. And nice. he immediately dismounts, expecting no, no, them no, to no, return no. fire. Follow that in a great, great call by him uh, to to hop off. I believe that was Volca. Looks, I think that was the one. It was either Volca or a guy with the goat. 
who who hopped off that SPG as soon as he took the shot, knowing that uh, they could easily Reloaded. just follow that back and take him out. So yeah, especially because that thing takes so long to reload. But uh, and, the, and now they, they they reload it. They're reloading it now. They're gonna hop back on. They see the US. Three. They're disengaging and trying to get a different angle here. You always have to be running scared. Like that was that's their squad lead and two others and one go. SPG fires again. Wow, great shot by uh, the INS right there. That 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 may have just swung oh. the game in their favor. I mean, it was a good shot, but it was also the U.S. not watching their spacing. Three guys in a small splash radius like that. Brutal. Yep. Uh, very very true, and that that's the thing. The longer these ops go on, the, the less people pay attention to to the the, the things you think are simple. Like spacing, you know, just making sure you're always communicating, being like just the, the the basic things you learn in our in our basic SOTT class, just they just sort of go out the window the longer they got and they've got seven minutes this game's been this game's been going on for almost an hour. Like they just they just have to follow through to the end. Yeah, these three guys have gotta get gotta get moving. Yep, seven minutes to go. What is it? A, a thousand meters, right? Right at a kilometer? No. Not even, it's like 500, 500 meters. And they've got to make a move. INS have lost sight of them. They're firing at their previous position. They're firing at smoke, which is, is good on the US. They, they pop their smokes and they're, and they're moving. And uh, yeah, definitely they're not, they're not, they don't see the US, I believe. They're, they're more looking at where the US was. The US have got to be scared at this point, though. Novello is taking uh, command here, more or less, given these. It's free stalker, Novello, and Game Master. Good on them. Like it, it's, it's really important for somebody at this time to. Uh, yeah, someone has to step up. Charge. Yeah, somebody has to. Somebody. And, and, and you, you either have to take charge, or you have to know when to sit back. It's a two two prong thing. You can't have all three of them. Don't like. You can't have all three of them trying to take charge. You can't have nobody trying to take charge. It's a, it's an awkward, kind of awkward mix of Yeah, he's the alleyway just to the east of that compound. First. Yeah. They're still scanning. I don't yeah, think they've seen them yet. We're bringing back the INS block. audio, so you should, we'll be able to hear the uh, well, they get me. Uh, yeah, I think they're out of visual range with the yeah. darkness. We've got limited amount. Yeah, we we while we're in admin camp, we've got the ability to. Uh, Zoom in, yeah, but they're the they're working off of iron sights right now. And yeah, and you take those highlights off. All of a sudden, it's real hard to see people. These guys got to get moving though. They got five, uh, just over five minutes. Yeah. They know they're not gonna go south. south. I think they, they, they know they're gonna go north and then east. Oh, careful before you go off the edge. They'd have already seen them as they were going south through those buildings. I'm moving down here so I can get a better angle into the... Because you're kind of blocking my view. Yeah, no worries. You were just going to go over the edge. Thanks. Very, very tense for the INS right now. It's four on three. If the US can get get close, they they may be able to uh, to uh, finish this game out with a win. But uh, right now, I'd say the INS are in control. Do you want to relocate? Okay. Hang on, five minutes. We could go to the next one. We're calling in the Yeah, let's do that. Five minutes I think we need to relocate. Sunrise. <laughs> That's one way to put it. No, no. Yeah, I mean, it's it's getting close Guys, to time, right? No, no you don't here. win if they don't kill you. They've got to come to us. Yeah, they could also go around us. Yeah, they <laughs> could go around us. If we go to where Doesn't matter, we go. can uh, kill them. They can exfil without us. Oh, random SPGs coming out. Okay, wow, it's really, really slick. That's the U.S. Again, they pop smokes in a different location. It, it may, some may say that it's guiding the U.S. or the uh, INS or telling them whether they've been, but the, the INS can't see them move. They pop smoke and they're just now seeing it. And the U.S. is like a good like 200 meters away from them at this point. Four minutes. Four minutes and they... They've got they've got a ways to go, but now they've got the INS looking the complete different direction. 
now, yeah. I just have zero idea where they are. Yep. That's right. That's right. Keep, let's right like cook east. Looks yeah. like the Anis are just gonna head straight to the point. They realize they've lost sight on them. They don't know. They have no idea where the uh, U.S. is. Looks like they're just gonna head straight to the U.S. Exfil and uh, dig in there, which uh, may be the right call. Or gonna go above it. Looks like. Yeah. Looks like they're gonna go south of the point and uh, sort of fire down on them as they try and push into the compound. Yeah, and those woods might be where the final contact is. Get an overview shot here. They're doing a single person near the point. The, the other three on the Anis are going to man those SPGs and uh, watch from the south. U.S. have quite a quite a ways to go still. Still about you know, 200, 300 meters out with two and a half minutes to go. Just over two minutes, yep. They need to, they need to get moving. They need to be aggressive. They need to, they need to get in this point. They're pulling one of those guys off of the uh, SPGs. They're gonna. Well, at this point, they don't need drivers up there. Yep. Yeah, they're just gonna one man each of those vehicles, which is smart. Arguably, they don't even need the vehicles, but I guess my foot's in my mouth. As I said, the SPGs are worthless, and then I get the triple kill of infantry. Right. <clears throat> SPGs still. They're not looking in the uh, direction of the US. They're, lo they're looking more north than the US or northeast. Just less than two minutes to go. I think they're uh, still, I'm going to say, 200 meters out. Let's see. Yeah, right at right at 200 meters. They're hooking all the way around. Looks like they're going to hit it from the east. INS. Constantly repositioning. They've switched out one of the uh, SVGs. No, they they didn't switch out. They just go. now they're doing it. two SVGs and a Dishka technique. And they got the Dishka up there. Yep. They're just gonna all in on vehicles with a single man near the point, with um right at right at a minute to go. Over. Save you from us. Run slow until we get really close. It's a very very bold move. Here we go, U.S. definitely visual of those techies up there. I mean, we don't have eyes uh, to see. around, really. The only one who may be able 45 to seconds. I think this is, unfortunately, this is going to run to time, and we're just going to not have action. Yeah. Oh, the SPG's Portal. looking. No, I don't, he's looking down. He didn't see him. No. Around right. Three, two, one. Uh, SPG run. may see them. Crossing. SPG may see them. Really hard to get an angle behind him with this uh this tree, but I'm trying my best. Uh, SPG may see them. Ten seconds. Yeah, that's too bad. Scanning. Yeah, I think this is gonna go to time. Can't wait until nice we can try. control that. That'll be fantastic. Right. Mod support's coming soon. Oh what? So that was round two of nightmare. We're going to have another two rounds uh, coming up in, what, two, Did we win? two three hours there. Uh, no, we lost the U.S. I mean, it's the, the U.S. So join us the then. Win, but... uh, let's see. Are we going to try to grab yeah. the commanders in here? Best pony. Best yes. pony. What was the second Very action-packed. Both, both rounds. Like, the, uh, the, the INS pulled off some amazing uh, SPG shots. They they were they did really well with their BRDM. The striker before we sort of lost sight of it did great also. Yeah, taking out to, the uh, BRDM. Yeah, taking out the BRDM, laying down a lot of fire, constantly having to make the, the INS uh, vehicles move. Um, it, I don't think it was as impactful as it could have been actually assaulting the uh, the compound. But then again, that compound was going to be hard for the the uh, sh striker to get in on period. But uh, very, very action-packed both rounds. Yeah, nice nice work. Commands on both sides. You guys are both in here, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes. We got our best pony in Sightless. 
So, uh, a quick question, round two. What happened to the striker? Striker hit. Well, Pony and I were actually looking at this. We were looking at the map. Pony says that nobody on his team placed a mine where I died, but we hit something apparently because the striker just immediately blew up on the MSR on a road that I was told had been cleared. Was it so. in town? It was yeah, in it town. Was in the, it was in the city, which all four of my mines were accounted for elsewhere on the map. I went in an admin cam and checked, too, just to be sure. There was no mine in the city. We're, we're unclear at this time. Hopefully the stream caught it, because we certainly didn't. Something we, no, we totally so missed we did it. Not. We, we One second, yeah. the, the striker was on Crow's Hill, and then we went to, to watch y'all at uh, the, the center compound, and then we went back to look for the striker, and it was, it was gone. Just well, I, yeah. maybe maybe the might of Allah smote us. I don't know. Yeah. Which... The wrath of God when intervened. On the, the wrath of God place. intervened for Best Pony. <laughs> the original plan with that striker was to take it north to that compound with uh, elevation on it and just start wailing on the uh, north side of his compound. So but... there was, uh, I remember seeing a, a yellow cross mark on the, the, the northwest MSR out of town. Kind of that Y. I remember there was something on the, the northwest side there. So that, that might have been, been it. That could have been. But, okay. Very, very action packed both rounds. Um, oh, yeah. Who's firing? Uh, so, yeah, anything? You, uh, your, your choices the first for round. The, uh, the, yeah, good. The first round, uh, you guys both actually did very similar things with your vehicles, which was, which was interesting to watch. First round, um, what were the thoughts on, on the wolf pack that was going down there? Uh, Wolfpack was supposed to sit up north and wait until we got Striker in a location that we could assault it. We never found it, though. Uh, I knew it was somewhere to the east. I assumed it was somewhere in the middle hill, around, like, Charlie 5. Uh, turns out it was right at the fucking extract. And, uh, they made the mistake of trying to go through Maine, which obviously buffed them away. So, they had trouble getting their guys mm -hmm. all together for the Wolfpack, barreled on down towards the extract, and got taken out one by one by the Striker. Because nobody stopped to class ahead. It happens. A lot of people, uh, I even had asked my commands or my SLs whether or not they were comfortable doing a vehicle squad. But since I'm not allowed to leave the keypad, I can't do it myself, which is normally what I like doing. Oh, right. Yeah, because you're the HPT. Not allowed to leave. Interesting. And then round two, well, kind of the same same idea? Um, I wanted to use my vehicles a little bit more aggressively. That's that's why the scout car would occasionally go up and engage infantry. I, I noticed that we were we were surprised by the lack of the BRDM the entire first round. We were expecting that because it's a great anti-infantry asset to come up and since we didn't have any lasts, just kind of tear apart tear us apart if we got too close to the objective. But so that's that's I had my vehicles. I didn't I put them in a wolf pack, but I didn't have them with the mission to like find and destroy the striker. I had them with the mission to basically support us and if possible destroy the striker if they could find it nicely. But after it became apparent the striker was coming up on that, that far north road where it was going to be very difficult for us to get rid of it, uh, I basically just had the, the BRDM start going in and trying to get rid of those infantry squads that were advancing towards our, our objective. Which funny thing, I didn't actually have the striker go up that north road until later. I actually had it pull back towards the center of the uh, eastern hill, which is how we got eyes on the BTR or the BRDM yeah. when it was engaging. Yeah, was great job on that strike of the second round. Being like they spotted all, they spotted like you. You initially put your your wolf back in the northwest corner, same as sightless at the beginning, and almost immediately, like they tried to pull up on a hill, and the striker saw it and just started laying rounds into it. And uh, it didn't hurt it much, but it hurt it enough to to make you have to reposition your vehicles onto the uh, the southwest, and that uh, that may have made them less less uh, less effective in that in that direction. What about that area of denial, boy. Oh yeah, I was I was still quite happy though with the the way that played out. Anytime my defending squad on a compound gets fifteen kills, um, that's that's a successful compound defense. Oh yeah, oh, the, yeah. The, the very the very last the last stand it, it was like four four insurgents and like thirteen U.S. around it, just trying to push into that compound. In a it made it made it very difficult, very very difficult for them to uh, to push in. And great job on that uh, on that uh, defense. Definitely, definitely a pony fob, <laughs> as we were saying. Yeah, if you could have held the uh, high ground above it, then it would have been even more devastating. But uh... yeah, and and Silas was saying that you you wanted to put that uh, that striker up on the uh, the northwest yeah. hill, right? Yep, yeah. you can go hold down behind one of that structures and just fucking rain fire. 
That's exactly what we were saying. Like if we should, if he had, if he were to bring that striker up, that was, this was before we lost sight of the striker. Is like if you were to bring that striker up and just just put it on that hill and just rain fire down on that third, that's gonna deny them anything on the outside of that uh, on the outside of that compound and just make it way easier for his uh, his guys to push in. Yeah, I was I was incredibly surprised that it died. I had no expectations of killing it at all. Like after <laughs> after the BRDM popped, I was like, well, that's that's it. This is gonna end when the striker shows up and just shoots everyone. But it it never appeared. We were shocked. Like I was talking even with my my uh, SPG tech at the very end. We we're like, I was like, hey, did you get the striker? Because it just kind of stopped being here. They're like, no. It's like, well, uh, I guess assume it's alive. <laughs> Speaking of SPGs, great. Like if the second round. <laughs> the SPGs were on Crow's Hill right at the end, and he takes out three Triple people kill, yeah. with, with one shot from like it was like 150 meters out. It was just an insane shot, and just right right before it's interesting that this SPGs they're not that useful against uh, against <laughs> infantry, but when, yeah. when the when the uh, forget your spacing, you forget your training, it, it can sort of just wreak havoc. Wreak havoc. Yeah. We were talking to Silent about that, as he's one of the people who died in that. Apparently, he uh, spotted the SPGs about five, ten seconds before they fired. He was calling out SPG, SPG. And the guys with him, instead of seeking new cover, just clustered around and laid down. They yeah, they were looking over his shoulder, being like, where? Point at it. Point at it for me. And then <laughs> Point like, at the, the giant recoilless rifle. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> so, spacing is always important as a situational awareness, as they found out. Definitely should have been looking at that hill either way though I, I think it was a very good very fun op both rounds very and good very both fun. rounds it, it came down to the wire both times where you were within you know the last round there was within one person there was three people left on us four people left on the ins second round i think there was how how many how many first round it was like, like a nine man yeah, advantage for we, us it was nine i, ten, I got a full squad out alive first yeah. round oh yeah very very action-packed both rounds a lot, a lot of fun to watch. Alrighty, unless we got any final thoughts, uh, that should do it. Two rounds of Nightmare. We got two more coming up here in a couple hours. Join us for that. Uh, check us out, squadops.gg for more information. Join us on Discord, all that good stuff. Um, unless anyone's got anything else, uh, let's say we're going to sign off here and see everybody in a couple hours.